It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once previously. Today's winner moves on to the semifinals to take on last year's champion, Magnolia Elementary. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Bond Mill Elementary, would you say hello to Tristan Merritt, Trevor Bateman, and Kevin Sue. And from Yorktown Elementary, here they are, Zoe Thomas, Carmen Turner, and Jalen Jackson. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Left-hand side, easier questions, five or 10 points. Right side, tougher, increasingly so. 15, 20, ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both teams start out at 50 points apiece. We never deduct points for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, as I said earlier, we will have a competitor for Magnolia in the semifinals. So let's make sure everything works properly before we start. Trevor, try your buzzer, if you would, please. Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Tristan and to Kevin. And Carmen, how about the green button? It looks like it's working just fine. Good luck to you, to Zoe and to Jalen. And uh, let's just have a good game. And congratulations on making it this far in the competition. B before Y, we go alphabetically, so that means, Trevor, you get to start the bowl. Um, let's get physical for 10, please. Get physical for 10 points, teams. Since this planet has no electromagnetic field to shield plants from high-intensity radiation, growing plants on this nearby planet might be very difficult. Vaughn Mill. Mars. Mars, yeah, we watched. Matt Damon in the movie The Martian tried to grow potatoes, which he did with his own poop. Yeah, that part was right. Go red. Um, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Two-part answer. The two gas giants in the solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, have as their two main gases these two H-initial gases that are number one and two. Von Mill. Hydrogen and helium. That is it. The two first elements in the periodic table and the lightest of the gases, hydrogen and helium. All right. BM, Von Mill. Um, let's get physical for 20, please. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, an isotope is a form of an element that has the same identical number of protons, but different numbers of these subatomic particles in the nucleus. Von Mill. Neutrons. Neutrons, yeah, the neutron number is different. If you watch The Simpsons, you know that Homer plays for the Springfield isotopes because they've got that nuclear power plant there, so that's quite appropriate. Go red. Let's get physical for 25, please. Boy, the big one in that category, teams. Think back to the Rio Olympics and the water sports. A lot of the people did not want to compete because the lagoon was polluted and it had some smelly gases, two in particular. I'll give you the 25 points if you can tell me what CH4 gas is or S gas is. CH4 or S, two stinky gases in the lagoon at the Rio Olympics. Give me one. CH4 was methane and S was sulfur. No points, try again red. Um. Dateline Science for 10. Dateline for 10 points, teams. A new book out called The Sting of the Wild is all about this substance that snakes use either for offense or defense. Yorktown. Venom. Yes, ma'am. Venom it is. Go. Green. 
Zoo Parade for 15 points. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, the mammal that has the slowest metabolism on Earth is also the slowest mammal on Earth, Vaughn Mill. Sloth. Sloth is right. Good. Red. Dateline Science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. 15 points back in 1781, William Herschel discovered this next to the last planet in the solar system. Von Mill. Neptune? Nope. Next to the last planet in the solar system, Yorktown. What we got? Uranus. Uranus. Remember, Pluto got kicked out. Neptune's the last, so Uranus is the next to the last. Go red. Um. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, one of the newest cartoons on television is all about Rocco. Rocco is one of these W-initialed relatives of a kangaroo. Von Mill. Can Kevin answer? You, he sure can. Wallaby. You got that right. Rocco Wallaby. Rocco Wallaby's modern life. It's on TV. It's kind of fun. Try red. Thanks, Kevin. Um, Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. Team, some scientists now think that we could cut down on the people who die in car accidents that collide with deer if we reintroduce to the eastern part of the country these biggest cats in North America. Carmen. Mayans. More specifically. I would like to pass it What do you to want to tell me, Zoe? Mountain lions? Mountain lions, yeah. Mountain lions are cougars or pumas. They are all synonymous. Absolutely right. Of course, it wouldn't be so good for, you know, if you have pets in the backyard. But still, it might cut down on the deer population and then hence the number of traffic fatalities. Green, 80 to 120. You're 40 points behind, Carmen. Dateline science for 25 points. Dateline science for 25 points. Teams. Autonomous cars, those cars that are driving themselves and are being tested in Pittsburgh right now, are an example of AI, which is artificial what? Von Mill. Intelligence. That's what I want to hear. Good. Go. Red. Dayline science for 20. Dayline science for 20 points. Teams, scientists now say that they can take every book in the Library of Congress and condense the information so it fits on a copper dot the size of George Washington's eye on a dollar bill. This is an example of what N initial kind of technology. Von Mill. Nano. Nanotechnology, that's right. Nano means one, one billionth. Absolutely right. That buzzer says we've come to the first break here in our show. Our score is 165, Von Mill 84, Yorktown. We'll be back with round two in just one moment. If you're like most families, you probably have video game fans in your home. But not every game is right for every kid, which is where the ESRB ratings come in. They help parents make informed decisions for their kids. And there's an easy-to-use mobile app that gives you detailed info on specific game ratings. Video game consoles have parental controls that you can set to block certain games by age rating. So they get all the fun, and you get peace of mind. Never look a howler monkey in the eye. We built the entire library out of recycled bottles. Fried ants are delicious. We finish a clinic in our, in our rainstorm. Really? That was a confidence builder. My students actually ended up teaching me. So I learned this dance. I'll show you this dance. Yeah. In la keg, a la quine. The classroom was, was more of a class tent. I think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. My alarm clock was a rooster. Beans for breakfast, beans for lunch, beans for dinner. We ate a lot of beans. I learned a third language. My seatmate on the bus was a goat. Always include the village elders. Always. My morning commute was by canoe. After two months, I was ready to quit. But after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience.
Welcome back to Science Bowl. Let's find out a little bit more about our contestants if you miss them the first time. And we have some substitutes in here, so many of you will be meeting them for the very first time, even if you saw them before. Bon Mill is here, and Bon Mill is up there in Laurel, Maryland, and uh, Mr. Fitzgerald is your wonderful principal, principal yes. and Ms. Jacobs is the wonderful sponsor up there. And Trevor, uh, what are some neat things about Bon Mill that maybe people don't know about? It's a really good school because the teachers are really nice, helpful, and energetic. They all love to teach, and yeah. most of the students love to learn. Yeah. So I love you said why. most of the students, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the teachers, yeah, they love to teach too. And uh, that's it. Yeah, it's the kind of place where uh, I can tell you, you like to go. And you're the Bulldogs, aren't you? Yes. You're the Bulldogs. Hey, you got the shirt there to prove it. All right. Trevor, someday you're going to become either a microbiologist, a Lego designer, or an engineer of some yeah, kind. Yeah, this young man has all kinds of potential there and lots of possibilities. And Kevin, uh, you've got all kinds of things going on in your life too. What do you do in your spare time? I, I read science encyclopedias and I, I like reading the National Geographic magazines. Yeah, we were talking about that before and you know, uh, no one throws away National Geographics. Those are just so well done, you just keep them for years and pretty soon you have piles this big or you can kind of read them online. Uh, what do you want to do professionally someday? I, I think I want to I wanna either be some type of engineer like study chemistry or be a physicist. Yeah, well, you'd be good at whatever you choose. You've got good competitive spirit, and you've got a good discipline about studying, too. And Tristan, nice to have you here for the first time. Tell us the Tristan story. What do you do in your spare time? I like to practice boxing with my dad, um, read, like, fantasy and science fiction books. Yeah. Um, and play video games. Play video games. Why'd you want to be on this show? Um, I didn't really know about it at first, but... um. All I knew was that, like, uh, they said every year that the Science Bowl team mm -hmm. was going to head out to competition. Yeah. And uh, when my when I heard that my teacher last year, Mr. Haslip, signed me up for it, yeah. um, I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm glad he signed you up because you have a lot of good spirit here. And I know when you were an alternate, you were out here, you were giving them what for, you know. And I know how proud you were of the team. Nice to have you with us today. Yorktown, nice to have you guys here. Carmen, tell us the Yorktown story. Principal. Dr. Savoy. Yeah, Dr. Savoy, and uh, very big sponsor of Science Bowl. And you have a couple sponsors over there at Yorktown, don't you? You have a coach and a sponsor. Who are they? Miss Parambo is our sponsor, and Miss Stanley is our coach. Wonderful, and they're here today, and I know they've been strategizing, and they made some changes here on the team. And your colleagues here, Jalen and Zoe, they were alternates before, and nice to welcome you to the set here. Before I leave you, Carmen, I know you want to work with animals someday in an animal shelter, and you've got three dogs between you and your dad at home, and I think that's just great. And uh, something about Yorktown that people don't know about that you want to tell them. We do a lot of activities if you've been on your best behavior. Like, we sometimes have the Wildcat Carnival. We weren't able to have it last year, but we I hoped we have it this year. Yeah, something special to look forward to on the calendar. Absolutely right. Jayla, nice to have you with us today. I know that you were talking to me earlier, you were thinking about maybe an engineer someday, huh? How'd you get interested in that? Well, I heard about it like at school, and uh, I went home and did like a couple of research, and I like chemistry even though we don't learn it yet so um, yeah you're getting a head start on that and you know this the stem subjects science technology engineering and math you know, they're all interrelated you know and uh, uh, engineering is uh, it's not just math it's science it's so many disciplines there what do you do in your spare time Jalen um, I usually read or play baseball and sometimes play video games that's great sounds like a normal guy to me you play shortstop don't you mm -hmm. yeah you play for an organized team Mm -hmm. What team? The Gambrels Athletics. Wonderful, wonderful. They're lucky to have you. Zoe, nice to have you with us today. Tell us the Zoe story. What do you want to do someday? We were talking about being an author, right? Yeah, why do you, why do you want to write books? Well, I've always liked telling stories, and I've always liked writing things down. Mm -hmm. That's perfect motivation. And uh, people love to read, and if you're a good storyteller, you know, uh, you can be like a J.K. Rowling, you know, you can have the Harry Potter books, you know, you can be rich and famous someday. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Um, I read, play games. 
Yeah, normal stuff. Yeah. Good to have you on the show. Let's get back to it. Yorktown 80, Bond Mill 165. Last correct answer came from Trevor. And let's start again. Can I have Zoo Parade for 25, please? You certainly can. And it is a visual question to start out the second round. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. We've known a long time that sharks can detect the electrical fields of their prey. Now, if you look closely on the snout, scientists discovered a gel over the top of the snout that is sensitive to these positively charged subatomic particles. What are they? Positively charged subatomic particles that can be detected by that gel on the snout, Trevor. Electrons? Not electrons, no. Positively charged subatomic particles, Yorktown. Protons? Protons, that's the answer. Go. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, not enough vitamin C, you can develop scurvy. But if you don't get enough of vitamin, of this vitamin, blindness could be the result. Carmen. Vitamin A. Say it again. Vitamin A. A is correct. Yes, ma'am. Go. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. Teams, your question is as follows. The reason why we all fall in love with pandas is because they look like babies and they act like kids. And we feel so protective because when we look at them, a chemical called oxytocin is released in our bodies. Oxytocin is what kind of H-initial chemical that is released into your body to make you feel so loving of these pandas. Yorktown. I'd like to, pa I'd like it to pass it to Zoe. Zoe. Hormones. Hormone, absolutely right. Good answer, Zoe. All right, we got a game going here, 165 to 120. Carmen, you go. Actually, your score is now up to 145. Go. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points is also a visual question. Please look at the monitor in the studio if you would. Teams, this is skunk cabbage. It's one of the first plants to spring up at the end of winter. You can see it coming through the snow. It can do that because it is thermogenic, meaning it can do what? Bond mill. Produce its own heat. It does produce its own heat, and it melts its way through the snow. Yes, sir. Good. Go. Um, can I have green things for 10? Green things for 10 points. Teams, Eli Whitney is associated with a machine that he invented called a gin that separates the fibers from the seeds of this plant that is used in much of the clothing. Bond mill. Cotton. Cotton, yeah, he invented the cotton gin. Good, go Trevor. Green things for 15, please. Green things, 15 points, teams. Well, we all know that hemlock is very poisonous, just like the lily of the valley is. Almost as poisonous is this D-initialed plant that is shaped like flower, that is shaped, yes, bond milk. Death cap. Not death cat. Good try. Good try. Yorktown, what de-initialed flower that is shaped like a trumpet is very poisonous. It's one of the first ones we see in the spring. That's a daffodil. A daffodil. Try again, Red. Go. Um, green things for 20, please. Green things for 20 points. Teams, there's a little jingle that goes, Fred took a lichen to Allison. A lichen is a plant that is made up of Fred, F, Allison, A. What are the F and the A components that you put together to make a lichen? A fungus and an algae. Go again, red. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, a lot of the blue tang tropical fish are disappearing from the ocean because a lot of people saw the movie about this famous blue tang. Bon Mill. Dory. Dory, absolutely right. Finding Dory. Go, red. Science potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points, team. Some cities are reevaluating the kinds of lights they use to light their streets because LED lights produce a kind of invisible blue that makes it hard to sleep. LED stands for light emitting what? What's the D? What we got? Light emitting, go ahead, Yorktown. I'd like to pass it to Jalen. Jalen. Duration. Not duration, good try. Do you have a D for me, Bond Mill? Um, Kevin. 
I'd like to pass it to Kevin. Kevin, what you got? Light and diode. Beating. Say it. Diode. Diode is right. That's it. Good. Okay. In the nick of time, go red. Um, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams helium were running out of it. But recently they found a whole big field of helium underground in East Africa. Helium is produced when this most famous of radioactive chemical elements decays. What is that radioactive element I'm talking about, Von Mill? Uranium? Yes, sir. Good. Go red. Science potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25 points. This is a strange question. There's a fish called the humpback wrasse that is, boy, this is a long name. It's a sequential hermaphrodite, which means it starts at life is one of these, and then later on in life it changes into one of these. It starts out as a male, and it changes into a female. Hermes and Aphrodite, a hermaphrodite. Try again, Red. Tough question. Body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, long before there were osteopaths or chiropractors, there were men, usually men in villages, who would set these body parts, especially if they were broken. Yorktown? I'd like to pass it to Zoe. Zoe? Bones. Bones, yeah, a bone setter. That's it. Go green. Body systems for 20 points. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, four-part answer. Most human beings can taste, with their taste buds, four basic tastes. What are they? Give me the four basic tastes, Bon Mill. Sweet, sour, salty, and... Bitter. Bitter. Thank you, Kevin. You got all four. Good. Red. Dateline science for five, please. Dateline science for five points, teams. They're inventing new wetsuits for scuba divers that are furry. And the fur is based on the fur of this, Carmen? A penguin. Not a penguin. The fur of this mammal is the basis for this. It is the thickest fur of any mammals. And it's the mammal that lies on its back and cracks open clams with rocks. Otter. Otter, yeah, good. Go, red. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. The most dangerous non-human on this planet, non-human animal on this planet, is this. Trevor. Honey badger? Not a honey badger, nope. The most dangerous non-human animal on this planet is the what? Mosquito? Yeah, absolutely right. Nicely done, Zoe. Good. Green. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points, teams. There's a bird in Africa called the honey guide, which really doesn't like honey. It likes beeswax and it likes larvae. So it leads these African tribesmen to this place where the bees live. Trevor? Beehive. The beehive, yeah. Red, where? Um, let's do, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, if you're out at night and some nice things are happening to you, and you look up and you can say, hey, there's Sirius, there's Cassiopeia, there's the Big Dipper, you might call them your lucky what? Yorktown? I'd like to pass it to Jalen. Charms. Charms. Not charms, no. Bon Mill, you're looking up at the night sky at Cassiopeia and the Big Dipper and Zodiac. Sirius, and these are your lucky what? Zodiac. Stars, your lucky stars. All right. Red. Green things for five. Green things for five points. While the black eyed Susan is the state flower of Maryland, the saguaro version of this prickly plant is the state flower of Arizona. Bon Mill? Cactus. Cactus is right. Last question of the game is body systems for five points. Teams, on your scalp, symmetrical follicles produce straight hair, whereas asymmetrical follicles produce this kind of hair. Bon Mill? Curly. Curly hair it is indeed. On that note, our game is over. We will be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't you go away.
Welcome back. What a competitive game this was. Two evenly matched teams, and we couldn't be happier for all of them. Our final tally is Yorktown 160, Bond Mill 285. The Bulldogs roaring today. Kevin and Trevor and Tristan and Carolyn, I know how proud you are. And Kathy Jacobs, we're, we've been waiting 31 years for you to get a championship. This may happen. Yorktown, let's get to see a big smile over there. Zoe and Jalen, this was your first time here. You did a nice job. And Carmen, you're a wonderful captain over there. You did a great job. And Leon and Nyla, I know how proud you are. You were probably yelling answers from that other name down there, the other room. Ms. Prambo and Ms. Stanley, thank you for all you did and for being here today. And we appreciate you being here as well. Hope to see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.